There we are. Oh. We're live. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we have already people. Oh, that's nice. Wow. We have some questions already, Kim. Check that out. Oh welcome, welcome, Kim and Lee oh. Sparks, uh, uh, Gina America. Oh, Gina. This is exciting. <laughs> I love it. Question. May I list designer sunglasses frames with all prescriptions? Huh? I think that depends of the marketplace, right? I think yeah. so. I mean, I think it's, I think mainly the thing you don't want to sell is uh, medications. And I think we talked, or maybe it was uh, on another live, North but I think Harry. we talked about, yeah, you can't, uh, you can't sell anything that you can put in your mouth. Yeah, you know, as far as prescriptions and that kind of thing, but I think prescription sunglasses would be fine. Yep. No, no. Uh, well, if they are, she says, designer sunglasses frame with all prescriptions. All prescriptions. So it's sunglass A. I don't see a problem with that. It yeah. just has a prescription. You know, you're not a doctor. Just let them know. As long as you disclose yeah. that, I don't see a problem. Hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. Hi, Gina America. <gasps> hi, hi. <laughs> I Hi, Star. Flipping hippos, <laughs> flipping hippos in the house. I love it. Hi, Nisha. Hi. 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 I love it. Hey, Stuart White. Hi, Stuart. We just dropped an incredible uh, podcast session with, uh, with uh, Stuart. <laughs> incredible, incredible session. Awesome. Okay, hold on. My cat is meowing like crazy. <laughs> kitty. I swear, kitty, kitty. I go live and she's like, meow. She's like, mama, mama. Hi, Chicken Toad. Hi, chicken Hi. Toad. hello. Oh. Hi, Cheryl Hinton. Hi, oh, yeah, yeah. hello, hello. That's Yaya Rumbles. Mm. <laughs> I love it. The Seller Community Podcast, Season 2, Episode 31. Stuart White, dusty, fun, and growing. Oh, yeah. Stuart's <laughs> awesome. Yes, it's incredible, awesome. um, you know, giving us the wisdom from um, brick and mortar, uh, <laughs> online businesses, and so much more, and even pickling, okay? Yes. <laughs> That's all I can say. Join us, okay? The Stellar Community Podcast, incredible. So, we have what a day today. Uh, what a day. So, let's start with <laughs> everybody. I was taking pictures. <laughs> Stop. Yes. Oh, yes. Stuart is coming. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. I love beats. I love, I love it. I love it. Hi, everybody. What a controversial topic today. Delist and release. So we have demos for everything. We're going to be talking about should you be Hey, we all know there is free automated services out there. You know, that's like, and they even got $10 million, okay, to build the software, okay? So the thing is that they believe in automation. So what have I been saying, Kim, for the last three years? If I could automate this perfectly, I would be saving so much money. But do I? No. You would not be in complaint. It's breaking terms of service. Oh, you didn't get caught. Guess what? You will. You will. <laughs> <laughs> now they're building the tools. So yeah. delisting and releasing automatically that moving forward with automated services, whether they're free or prepaid or whatever it, the business growth model they have, okay? Mm. It, that means that they're going to be sending you Kim, to a lower visibility of your listing. Like, for example, you know, those uh, those services that they just cross post from marketplace for marketplace and then Poshmark mm -hmm. tries to go to eBay and then they, they lose the Zoom and they oh come from goodness. Poshmark with a tiny image. You know what eBay does now? Mm -hmm. And quote me on this. Now, if your image is less than 800 by 800 pixels, which is what happens with Poshmark, they compress it to 500 or 600. Mm -hmm. Now your listing gets gets no visibility on eBay and it goes to limbo. Okay, yep. so you can research this, okay? New changes on eBay. Uh, many things are happening. 
And, uh, you know, we got to understand, you know, like I always said, eBay, Etsy, and Shopify are the only platforms that allow automation because they allow bigger businesses. Now, even Etsy is a little picky, but the rest of the platforms, mm -hmm. they don't allow automation. No, mm -hmm. no drop shippers. They don't, they don't appreciate that. They don't mm -hmm. want it. It's not something that they want to grow on it. And they're going to start cracking down. Yeah. They're going to crack so, down. I have to say, I've been talking nonstop, but beautiful audience, we have <laughs> a big announcement. Are you guys ready for a big announcement? Okay, let's go with big announcement number one. Kimberly, 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 let's do this. <laughs> let's make it official. Oh, you ready? Oh, oh you, you, are you going to tell them or am I going to tell them? <laughs> oh, I'm going to make it official. All okay. right. Let's all welcome Kimberly to Team Least Perfectly. Welcome, Kim. Incredible. Woo! Not only <laughs> she's a community ambassador, she is a software tested. Uh, she, uh, oh, wow. She helps us uh, writing blog posts. She reviews, okay, uh, posts from different channels because we have no advertising, no sales team. So we strongly believe in our community. Welcome, Kimberly. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It, I, I'm not going to cry. I told myself I'm not going to cry. <laughs> it's, it's a very emotional, emotional thing for me because I feel so strongly about, you know, this perfectly and I love this perfectly so much and I love everybody there. So it's, I'm not going to cry, but <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's just, it's, it is, it's huge. And, you know, I, and I just want to tell everybody out there that this doesn't mean that I'm turning my back at all on the reseller community. If anything else, it, it's going to be an even more meshed uh, relationship because I'm going to be able to be there for you even more because um, I want to, I get to be more of an advocate, advocate for you. And uh, that's, that was very important for me as well. So I'm, I'm excited. I thank you so much. I'm getting chills. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been incredible since I met you last year on Boss Reseller Remix in Vegas. And then it was just meant to be. And I'm so happy that you took, you know, uh, you know, your career change and you accepted our reselling community and not only you got yourself in our community and then you became a full-time reseller you tested different list perfectly plans and that <laughs> the rest is history we started to talk about list perfectly what would be best for lp and then i think we just look at each other we're like we can make this work. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, it's like, it's like we were all related right from the start. It, you know, it's like, wow, I, this is my family, you know, I, just, <laughs> I mean, I, and I mean, with this perfectly. You track me up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, hey, this is important. Now I, I had to come upstairs and actually be in an actual office for this no <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you're funny oh yeah i did i brushed my hair i love yeah. it just don't get used to it no <laughs> I love it. you look fabulous darling oh, I love it. thank you Kim. you know what a beautiful topic uh we have today and this is what it is about talking about what matters in our community. This is, is trending right now. Uh, big changes on marketplaces against, you know, automated res uh, tools uh, for anything, whether it's, you know, <laughs> listing, delisting, people are going to getting suspended on different marketplaces. Poshmark has just, okay, started their great technology to prevent these automated services. Uh, there is shared jail all over, as you can see. Uh, and the thing is real. The thing is real. And like I said, I've been telling you, I told you so. <laughs> what is free now is going to cost you. You lost time. You lost resources and hoping that that solution would work. And now all you have is a suspension or share jail or hoping that delisting, relisting or certain platforms will work. You know, I'm not saying they can't make it work. It'll take a couple of years, especially when you're not a reseller. Especially. That's all I'm going to say. Especially. Mm -hmm. 
it's just a disadvantage when you're just a developer and then you're making polls to from resellers and go and build and then you gotta make another poll to go and see if it is what they need then you gotta make another poll with the legal department to see if it is allowed they don't get it they don't get it they don't get it and that's what i want to talk to you today least perfectly is versatile did you notice that there is not one process to delist and release uh-uh that's why we broke it in two delisting and then if you want you released right away but no it's not automated it's you the human publishing the listings that's why you're not getting suspended. That's why your accounts are in good standing. That's why your listings get visibility. And that's important, mm -hmm. you know, because we're going to be talking about with uh, Kimberly for you today about the best and the different options that we have to do these. And Kimberly, we're also going to be talking about maybe the listing and relisting versus updating listings. Aha. Uh -huh. That sounds like a good topic. Right? You know, <laughs> should we should should we end the listing, delist it, or should I just update, okay, details on my listing? And if I do that, what's the best course of action? Also, another thing that I want to be showing today is I'm going to show you how to delist. And then before you release, I, I'm, you're going to release optimizing that listing. You're going to merge it with an optimized listing from eBay or Poshmark or Mercari or Etsy, any market yeah. that allows sell similar. I want you to start trying different things so you can sell faster without hoping, okay, that enter, 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 okay, and uh, it's going to help you to grow your business. That's insanity, yeah. delisting and relisting without optimization. It's insanity. Unless you're a pro seller and your listings are really good, okay? Mm -hmm. Delisting and releasing maybe once a year, okay? But we'll talk about that more in detail. Different marketplaces is different. Also Facebook marketplace and so forth. Um, yeah. That's right. So what do you think, Kim? Okay, we talk a little. Um, when it comes to the list and release, Kim, um, what is your process? Would you mind sharing with us what is your uh, process? You know, I don't. I I actually don't. I don't. I don't delist and relist. Um, oh, okay. I I optimize. You know, if I have anything that is is stale or I think needs tweaked, um, I don't actually delist relist. Now I will do that if. I actually did this morning, but it wasn't because it wasn't to um, take something down and then put it back out. It was uh, to, to take something down because I had, I actually had a, uh, it was a multiple item listing, but I sold one of them. So I took the multiple item listing down and then I relisted that same, same item uh -huh. because um it, it's actually kind of funny because I had yeah. I had it as a, a multiple listing, but since I sold one of the, it's actually a tote bag. Yeah. And since I sold that one, I was like, well, I have a multiple listing up now, and then I yeah. had one of just the one bag. So anyway, um, yeah. I, I delisted, but then I relisted uh, the, the bag again. Um, I'm probably not making any sense. I'd have to no, show you. No, you but, are. No, no, Kimberly. Yes, but, you are. But it, but it wasn't a case of, oh, I need to take that down because it's not doing well. It sold yeah. and I marked it sold, but I had a multiple uh, listing up of that same product and I needed to remove one of those from that multiple that's listing. Right. That's right. So that's right. really the only time that I delist, relist. Um, and I know there's different schools of thought on that, yep. you know, on how you should do it, when you should do it, if you should do it at all. But yeah. I don't. I don't delist and relist uh, on a regular basis of any sort. You know, exactly. if I see that's something not that's, your, gonna... that's not how you plan the growth of your businesses. Correct. Correct. Yeah, that's the way I do it. So. And look at what Chicken Toad. Thank you, Chicken Toad, for saying this. Thank you. Thank you. When we delist on a platform, does it automatically clear out the platform? Check check an ID. I would love this if it doesn't, okay? Uh, the listing and relisting, when you do with list perfectly, we take care of that, okay? Of the listing ID, when you do it from LP. The problem is when you're not doing it from LP, then you're delisting and relisting, let's say on a, on a marketplace, and then you had maybe the listing in, in list perfectly, or maybe you were using one of those automated services to delist and release because you were excited to test it, okay? And what they do is, 
IDs, they assign a lot of uh, new uh, listing IDs. That's why you need to list from list perfectly. So you don't have to do this manually or conflicting with uh, these automated services that are destroying okay, the connection of your LP catalog with the different marketplaces. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's uh, and I, I was looking, you know, just to see. But I think all of the platforms or most of them do have an option to, you know, yeah. remove remove a listing and then put yeah. it back up. It, the, the process is different for different yeah. platforms, but it doesn't matter what their process is. If you do it on a different platform and you don't involve list perfectly, list perfectly doesn't know that you're doing that. And that's where your cat catalog becomes unhealthy really quick. Oh, and I want to, I want to bring this up chicken toad. I want to make, I make, I want to make it. Okay. Your wishes are come true. I will show you today. Okay. A way. All right. That you can update your listings and you will not lose the ID with list perfectly. This is why you use list perfectly. Okay. Of course the list and release. That's what developers know how to bill because they just heard it but we know as sellers that the, the listing and releasing is not the right smart uh business growth uh strategy that you should be using so we're going to be talking about the listing releasing versus updating listings what do you think uh what do you think kim sounds awesome i'm ready so but <laughs> in order to talk about that uh, Kim, you know, for example, look, we're gonna do this is uh, the set way. I star, oh, star price, and we love star flipping. Yes. This incredible YouTube channel. Go and subscribe. Uh, the list and releases, <laughs> but only listings that are three months old. It's effective, I think, for Mercari in Grail because of the way offers are done on those platforms. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, I could say uh, we are talking with Mercari. I'll get a definite word because they are changing their algorithm they're changing they change mm -hmm. the uh customer uh persona that they were looking in the past they did not want it uh resellers like ourselves but now they got the difference between us and drop shippers and they got it and now what they make it clear is they don't want drop shippers that they do accept small resellers like ourselves okay um mm -hmm. so that's important i'm going to be talking about this and also also, yes, stand by because I'm going to have Grail team coming to our reseller community podcast. Okay, the seller community oh, podcast. No. So I'm going to be having people coming from a lot of marketplaces to demystify everything. Good. Okay, you know how list perfectly. Yeah. That's a thing. That's why you want to be with list perfectly because we're legit. Because we're hundred percent compliance with terms of service. I'm not hacking platforms. I don't have to hide. I'm here. I'm putting <laughs> every week. And trust me, those they have big legal teams. Big. Those marketplaces have at least like teams of 30 lawyers. Okay. <laughs> you know, imagine, imagine if I wasn't legit the lawsuits that I would have. This is why I'm the only CEO mm. putting the face in e-commerce right now. I am okay. I don't see other CEOs doing this because they're not resellers. Mm -mm. They're not resellers. So this is why you choose this perfectly. We are in contact with all the platforms we uh, are um, in, uh, integrated with. And this is why I'm going to be showing you today great ways to build um, your, optimize your catalog by delisting and relisting perfectly. But you know what, Kim? Don't you feel we're incomplete a little? Yeah, I think something's missing. Yeah, you know, know what it is. we have like, a special guest, you know, I don't think, no, oh. we have a special guest and we're going to bring our <laughs> special guest. And this is very special because this person knows very well about optimization, not only because mm -hmm. his knowledge about speaking with so many sellers out there, but these special guests also work for a big marketplace, the biggest marketplace of all. Welcome, everybody, Snoop Doggy. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thank you. For, oh, please, please. <laughs> What's up? I love it. What's up, Clara? Hey. Kim? What's up, everybody? Nice hey, to see you. Hey, Always, Doggy. Uh, the usuals and then some new people. What yes, is going that's on? that's right. Yeah, it's good, good stuff, <laughs> good stuff going on. We're talking about delisting and releasing, but how yeah. could I talk about this without having you in 
talk, helping us to talk about listing up optimization people what it is what is it and why is that the right person right now to tell you about it so kim it's an incredible full-time seller she will never stop being a, a full-time seller mm -hmm. teamless perfectly but to make okay the connection with the community even stronger Doug will talk to us right now about listing optimization i'm gonna be showing you a lot of demos about delisting and relisting with different channels Because we're not an automated solution, you will not get suspended on Facebook. You can delete and release as much as you want, okay? Uh, be careful if you're a new account, okay? When you start listing in marketplaces, if you're a new account, there is a velocity rule, okay? That I, 100 at usually per day. I always say stay at 50, please stay at 50 because they also want to see a sell-through rate. It's not about listing like crazy. It's also about listing and converting, listing and converting, all right? So having said that, conversion, conversion, conversions, we're talking about that, delisting and relisting, right? Yes, delisting and relisting, that, uh, that perennial uh, argument, <laughs> I guess you'd say. And there are people that are on definitely on both sides and i will tell you i have seen people that do it regularly and they at you know set points like uh, flip and hippo said and yeah. they've seen uh, some success because technically you could get you do get a little bump but yeah. you also have to think long term for your account and obviously i'm a, i'm more ebay focused and some of this applies across the board i've actually seen a little bit of success on mercari with delisting and relisting yeah but on ebay you really need to think of a, a lot of things. We all know eBay's difficult. Optimization is a big thing. And it's much beyond just your photos, your price, your title. Hello. Hi, Hi everybody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I, I worked at eBay for about four years. I was on the seller engagement and community team. So uh, met with a lot of sellers, did a lot of seller events and, you know, a lot of uh, internal and external seller advocacy. And uh -huh. that's kind of what I do at List Perfectly too. Some of what I do, and I love that it's all the platforms now. So I am learning a lot. Yeah, that's But, right. Um, yeah. So I'll. You want me to just talk for a couple of minutes, Claire, and just hop in? Oh, uh, I was thinking. Okay, uh, former eBay dude. Okay. <laughs> I always love eBay. I I thought. Okay, I'm gonna get started. Okay, with something before we get into the nitty of everything. Okay, I wanted to get started with something that I know is everybody's talking about it because those automated. So I want to brag off. You know how I I love to share, Doug. Okay, let me share and then yeah. we'll go to you. Okay. okay cool. No worries. <laughs> I have to do it, okay? So why don't we share, okay? I want to share number one, okay? The number one thing, okay, is right now it's, you're going to see it. This one is uh, delisting uh, from uh, Facebook Marketplace, uh, which is a controversial topic because now the marketplaces are banning those automated solutions. And again, you know, careful on investing your time and money or time, or time, <laughs> with those might be free solutions, all right? Uh, like I said, your time is very valuable, and you deserve tools that are working and effective to help you uh, grow your business with strategy. And let me show you this, all right? Do you see my uh, screen, or do I need to share it? Yes. I can see it. Beautiful. Okay. We are going to show you how to delist and relist your listings on Facebook using the Express Editor on List Perfectly. Uh -huh. Now, this feature is available for the business and pro plan. All right, I just want to clarify, moving forward, we can delist and release not only from my listings view, so now we can do it from the Express Editor. And why are we showing you this? Because I want you to optimize in bulk your listings before you release, whether it's an image, whether it's one little change on title. We're going to show you that right now. We just introduced this new feature, right, Kim? Yes, yes, yes. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So let me continue here. List Perfectly. For this video demonstration, we are using List Perfectly's pro plan. So the very first thing that we have done here is we have selected 10 listings to end on the Facebook marketplace. So now what we see happening is, is a new tab is opening up for each listing that we have chosen. So we expect to see 10 
tabs open up. Then what happens next is the LP extension will go in and end the listings for us automatically. And we can see that that has happened because we received that confirmation message on the right hand. There, confirmation message successfully ended in the upper right hand side. Very simple like that. Kind of our screen. Mm -hmm. Now what we'll do is just quickly right click on the tab that we would like to return to and close all tabs to the right. That's right. Now we'll just go ahead and refresh our screen and make sure that all of those changes have taken effect. And we see that happen here as we can see that the platform status has- Oh, he went a little fast and he didn't mention, okay, you enable inline edit, which is what is gonna allow you to edit in bulk, okay? Enable inline edit, okay? Mm -hmm. Dated. And we no longer see Facebook. What we're going to do real quick is we're just gonna update some prices to reflect what we would like for them to be. Now that we have made those changes, we can go ahead and disable the inline edit. And now we are going to go ahead and relist some of those listings back to Facebook. How easy was that? Now that we have selected our 10 listings, we can now go ahead and click the cross post icon with the word stop next to it. And then we'll click Facebook and then copy. Now what will happen is, is a new tab again will open up for each listing that we have chosen as well as for each marketplace. So for this instance, we have only chosen Facebook, but we have chosen 10 listings. So we'll see 10 tabs open up and all of our listing details and images will be copied into the listing form on Facebook. Now we can go ahead and review each listing to ensure that everything looks good and it's the, exactly the way that we want it. And then we can go ahead and publish our listing. Now, the really nice thing is, is that while all these tabs are opening up and all of those images and details are copying in, we can work from one listing to the next seamlessly. That's right. And we see that happening here pretty quickly. We're able to move from one listing to the next. So this process is, it doesn't take very long. We're able to, to end our listings, make changes, <laughs> to our prices and then cross post those back to Facebook and get them back up and active on the marketplace all in less than four minutes for 10 listings. <laughs> That's crazy. The ability to be able to cross post end your listings, mark them as sold, update them all from the express editor is an absolute game changer. You can also make changes to your list. You can also make changes to your listings within the express editor. And we saw that happening whenever we were changing the prices. There's other, there are other details that you can update, but just for this video demonstration, that's what we went ahead and updated. Now that all 10 of our listings have published, we're going to go ahead and review each one, make sure that we got that confirmation message indicating that the listing successfully published and that the information had gathered. Mm -hmm and stored to our list perfectly catalog. So now what we'll do is we'll just refresh the screen, make sure that everything looks good. And, and just like that, we have now delisted, made changes to our listing and cross posted them all in under four minutes. <laughs> so yeah. what do you think people is gonna happen? Okay, who do you think is gonna have better visibility? The one that is delisting and relisting every two weeks? or the one that is still listing and relisting maybe every two, three months, or depending, maybe like uh, Mercari and Grail every three months, okay, and optimizing mm -hmm. the title. That's what I want you to think about. And that's just mm -hmm. one way to delist and release. That's the one that we know everybody, right? This is what, how we know to do it. I wanted to show off that Facebook is working. Uh, Marketplace is working great yeah. with this perfectly because I know it's not working with other services. <laughs> I told you, I told you, I told you. So, you know, um, I wanted to show, you know, you can list the list, you know, it's just incredible uh, what, what happens when you are in compliance with these marketplaces. Um, now, I also want to show there is, this is the basic, but you may be wondering, you know, should I just delete and release or should I optimize? Doug, <laughs> tell us, what, Thank do you you for... think, what do you think about optimization and where did you get that knowledge, please? So 
obviously from working at eBay and um, I have a very good friend who is an eBay SEO expert. His name is yeah. Dave Snyder of list rank sell. Okay. And uh, he's done a few episodes for the seller community podcast. I'll post a couple links in a bit and just, you know, yeah. so you can learn those basics. That first one, episode eight is huge. Um, yeah. I have that link I'll post and yeah. optimization is important and you need to think about it. It's an ongoing process too. It's not just a one-time thing. And one of the things he said that has always stuck with me is he had said that he basically says there's no such thing as stale listings. Yeah. If you're listing. If you think your listing is stale, it was stale from the start. That's right. So there's all that stuff, that op optimization you have to think about at the beginning. But again, optimization can be an ongoing process. So you can edit if you, you can edit your title, you can edit different things. If you see, you should always be learning and looking at your competitors and people that are selling the same stuff. And like if you're selling um, baseballs, you want to see what the top selling baseball sellers are doing. And you can yeah. do that and you can optimize. But the, right. the main thing is, is when you have a listing, especially on eBay, yeah. um, on all of them. So yeah. a listing is... It's basically a web page and it's a web page that can be updated and it gets different things that give it internal and external. I don't want to get too complicated, but there's internal and external SEO and different things with these listings help with your visibility. So watchers, viewers, things like that. If you delist and relist, you lose a lot of that, uh, a lot of that uh, backend stuff that you're getting that's helping you with your SEO. And let's elaborate on that backend stuff, okay? Because I think that's very important for our community guys. With marketplaces like eBay, Etsy, uh, let me think, okay? Poshmark, Grailed, okay, the ones that I'm seeing mm -hmm. right now, okay? They're putting money, okay, to opt to take your listings and share it across different social media channels, all right? So what happens is if you're doing the delisting and relisting marathon, you are, for example, with e eBay, you're killing the Google optimization and indexing that they're doing. It takes a month, guys, to take mm. those listings and then blast it with Google and so forth. Usually it takes a little less, but what are you doing every two weeks, you know, or maybe every month or every two months, you're this drawing that hard work now if you were going to update those listings now you're playing a different uh, a different game because now mm -hmm. you're not you're not destroying and then ebay will send the command of just updating those listings instead of pushing it again you know send it again index send it again to google google is accepting it they're reviewing it if it is allowed it's a long process and mm -hmm. you're killing it yep. yeah and the the internal eBay search engine adjusts pretty quickly, but Google takes a while. And so basically what you want to do is you like Google shopping basically gets you exposure outside of the platform. And that's huge and important. And there are certain things that, you know, have to tie in with that compliance as well. Yeah. But you have to think about too, is like people ask why, well, why should I share my listings? That's more traffic. That's something else pointing to your listings and all those little subtle things help with your SEO. But the reason I'm so keen, mm. besides the fact that he's a good friend, we talk about yeah. heavy metal music and eBay <laughs> SEO. Yeah. Despite the fact that he's a good friend and um, he, he, he leans pretty much towards what eBay has put out. And yeah. when that all came out, it was pretty controversial because there have been a lot of sellers that have been around a long time that really didn't want to change their ways. Yeah. And some of those long-term sellers really don't want to evolve. And I mean, look at, look at how much eBay itself has changed since it first launched. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. All the stuff that we have. And how much is um, changing since it's perfectly yeah. <laughs> is being working with eBay. <laughs> no kidding. That's, and even I, this year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yes. right. That's right. So, you know, it's, it's, it's many changes and like I said, um, you know, at least perfectly is compliant. So rest assured your business is in good hands. You shouldn't be worrying about suspensions or share jails. And yes, we'll build a beautiful share sharing tool. Yes. Hey. Yes. Postmark <laughs> liked it. Okay. So yes, they, they like the idea. Okay. So yes, we do ask permission, by the way. <laughs> and that's so, that's going to be huge. 
Yes, you know? absolutely. We want to help you build, uh, grow your business perfectly without the fear of being in shell, shared jail or getting suspended. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can't afford to do that, especially with the, the economy, economy nowadays, especially and, with that. And speaking of yeah. Poshmark sharing, our friends yeah. Renzi, Ryan was on the podcast oh a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> business Wire magazine just put out an article. Yes. They made $200,000 last year on Poshmark. And they do not use automatic sharing. Zero. Nope. Zero. Nope. 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 They nope. talk about it on the podcast. That's right. That's right. And I and I think he was yeah. humble. I'll be honest. Okay. I think he was yeah. he was humble on the numbers he threw there, you know, because of IRS, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, as far as I know, okay, he at least he must have been careful with Poshmark, but that's incredible. They do great in that. Don't forget, we have that episode. I want you people, um, in the meantime, when least perfectly builds the sharing tool, uh, we will continue yeah. to give you the right information about the sharing situation and here it is Rinsey resells shoes full time we just posted this uh yesterday and that you can watch it yourself okay what what he talks about you know these automated services and the lack of need okay of you uh and actually not only that you shouldn't okay but also that you're it's not helping do you see everybody saying mm -hmm. we're not selling in poshmark is is these automated mm -hmm. services you shouldn't be using it this is for corporations that they have like 1000 skus of the same thing it's not for us that we have a hundred maybe in i'll be honest poshmark sellers are, from my perception okay they might be a little smaller than ebay sellers sometimes and they even have more limited skus okay mm -hmm. so uh, you know ebay sellers usually they are even me, I had 50 or 80 of, of ones of one off. So I, that's one thing that I wanted to, you know, invite Doug here and at the same time have the help from Kim because she's our full time seller and help you understand that we need to do things smarter with logic in strategy and not just hoping that this button okay that is going to be doing these automatic things for you will help you to sell more you know that's being a long thing okay since 10 years ago i've been do dealing with those solutions and they don't work they don't work for our segment of e-commerce all right and they might work for ebay but i know that now they're not even working with ebay there is images problems yeah i'm managing yeah. images with ebay <laughs> It's not easy. Can we lose no. You don't lose well, image quality. You know, that, that's actually something else is, you know, using these, these automated services and that kind of thing, when they get to where they don't work for you, yeah. think of all of the time that is wasted trying to get them to work. Yeah. You know, like you said, everybody, your, our time is worth so much more than that. And there's so much time wasted trying to get these to work. I've seen it. And you don't have to worry about that with List Perfectly yeah. because it's they're not automated. They're not a bot. You're not going to have that interruption in your workflow because you're waiting for some, you know, tool that shouldn't be used anyway. That's right. You know? That's right. So, no, and, great. Uh, yeah, great feedback. Uh-huh. Yeah, go yeah. ahead, Doug. One quick thing. I said, uh, Renzi, were on Business Wire. They were on Business Insider. Business so, Insider. Yes. Light collection. Correction. Yes. Okay. And Clara... Yeah. Clara, you, I mean, hopefully I can. You probably can't say stuff like this, but I can. I see a lot of chatter out there. There are a lot of these automatic sharing things are having issues, particularly this week, yeah. because they are bots, they're workarounds. And I think we're really seeing a lean towards the platforms, the marketplaces starting to crack down on all this. So, uh -huh. We told you so why you think you think we didn't do it because we can't because we can't afford it because we can't do it because we don't have the brain for it <laughs> you know how hard it takes to stop the software where we stop it so we stay in compliance that takes a lot of discipline it takes extra yeah. money and that's where these companies with investors okay they're always focusing more on investors than uh the consumer okay it's just a different business model you know you're just in the path of collecting money so you can keep financing and always in debt and financing and financing and financing everything else. And this is a different, different model. You know, this purposely has no investors is financed by me. Okay. 
<laughs> and uh, everything came as a reseller income that I built with Liz Perfectly. So if that doesn't tell you, okay, okay, if that doesn't tell you, okay, I don't know what, okay, literally, okay, this is not a joke, okay, I did it with my, uh, this is not a room, I did it with my business, The Clothing Vault, you can go and check it out everywhere, go and Google The Clothing Vault, okay, it's even trademarked to my, my name, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> so we did it, um, Julieta, mm -hmm. I want to say uh, Julieta, Julieta, I don't know how to say Julieta in English, how do you say that name in English? Julieta? Julieta? Okay, Julieta. I love it. Yeah. I think the way you sound, really? say it sounds cool. So I'm I want to too. Yeah, Julieta. <laughs> Julieta. Well, Julieta Peralta says, so the only <laughs> platforms where releasing is beneficial is Mercari due to the offering processes. No, we just got an incredible feedback, okay, from um, Flipping Hippos. She has a, uh, a YouTube channel, Star Price, on where she's explaining that you should Mercari and Grail, okay? She recommends relisting every three months, okay? So that's what we recommend for that, okay? And if you're using List Perfectly, now we have the tool that we turn off the smart pricing. We did tell, we did tell Mercari, okay? We did tell Mercari that, that smart pricing is not very smart. <laughs> I love that feature. Oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> uh, I, I love it, Julieta. I love it. Okay, ah, okay. Oh, so you're right. Julieta, I got Julieta. it, I got it. Thank you, Julieta. Julieta. Okay, I got That's it, right. I got Sweet. it. That's prettier. I like that. That's amazing. So are we ready to show something else to our incredible audience? Yes. Yes. Kim, you know what I want to show? Something what? that is a taboo, okay? With uh, especially uh, so many services out there. Uh, another thing that I want to help people is with Shopify. So one of my favorite channels is Shopify because I used to have my website. I did not do it with Shopify. I did it with WooCommerce, which I can't wait to support WooCommerce. But, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we love Shopify. And uh, in this case, we're going to show you how to import listings from Shopify to list perfectly seamlessly. We are going to show you how to delist, update your listing, and then cross post or relist your listing from the Express Editor to Shopify. Uh -huh. Now, this is a new feature that is available to the business and pro plans. For this video demonstration, we are using List Perfectly's pro plan. Now, the very first thing that we have done is we have selected our 10 listings that we would like to end on Shopify. So now we have gone ahead and done that. We will now see 10 tabs open up. All of our listings will be ended on the Shopify platform. We see the tabs opening up, so we'll go ahead and click into them to make sure that everything has ended well and we can now. Oh, do you guys see that beautiful confirmation? Uh, <laughs> My favorite. I love confirmation it. message oh, on the right-hand side indicating Compliance. that and that's why the tabs are open. And that's why we, by design, okay, we don't cr cramp everything in one tab, which we could do, but you technology is not there yet. And to list perfectly, you need to see the confirmation ID because you never know. Marketplace could be up upgrading their platform. Google could be having the idea of pushing you a new update. Uh, what about your internet uh, provider? Uh, just lowering, okay, the bandwidth because your neighbor somehow, you know, your neighbors are having, you know, a big party or whatever is going on. Okay? <laughs> so many things, okay, that maybe you forgot to update your browser. This is why by design we have the tabs and we want you to see this confirmation number. Sorry, I get very excited. That <laughs> no, it's good. You are yeah. exactly correct. You never know. It's always good. I love the tabs. I, when yes, those first all too. open, I was like, this is so cool because you can go, I, I go through and double check and it's, it's worth it. Yeah, That's right. it's, it's peace of mind for one. And for another, you know, just being able to go in and make sure just have that, that, that second look is huge. So yeah, That's it's right. good. That's right. Now that we can confirm that, we can go ahead and just close the tabs to the right. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and update our prices. And then that way, whenever we cross post them back to Shopify. And please note that you can update, okay, 
titles. Uh, from this screen, you can update title, SKU, prices, quantity, cost of goods, fees, shipping, profit, uh, zip code, keywords. Uh, it, so many, can you see all these fields? You can update all of them, okay, by clicking enable inline edit. Our prices will be updated. Now, this feature is a huge game changer because it allows you to change so many different fields in your listing without having to go in to each listing individually and edit them. You can do it all from one view, and it's it's very, very nice, something that I'm very excited about. Good. Yeah. Now that we have changed our, our prices and we have updated those, now we can go ahead and we can cross post some of our listings back to Shopify so that way we can get them active and they can go ahead and sell. Now that we've chosen our listings, we'll just go ahead and click Shopify and then copy. Now what we will see happen is 10 tabs will open up, one for each listing that we have chosen and all of our listing details and images will be copied into the listing form simultaneously. So while one tab, while we're working in one tab, all of the other tabs, all of those details and images are copying in so that way we can work from one listing to the next seamlessly. Here we see I'm just going through reviewing each listing to make sure that it looks good. Now for this video demonstration, just to keep it kind of short, we're just gonna go ahead and publish a few listings. Now that we have published three listings and we get that confirmation message on the right-hand side, we can go back to the Express Editor again, close tabs to the right, and just like that, we have now delisted, updated our listings, and cross-posted, all from the Express Editor and list perfectly. <laughs> wow, the Express <laughs> Editor! Wow, 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 wow! What it, what it, incredible, incredible tool to allow you to bulk edit listings in the. What an incredible thing to, I can't imagine just to delete and release without increasing prices now. You shouldn't, mm -hmm. you shouldn't, you shouldn't, please, please promise yeah. me you'll delete and release. And even if you're using those automated services, I don't know if you're going manually, just go and increase your prices. I, just three dollars you know you deserve it you deserve it don't be delisting and just releasing increase prices by three dollars optimize your listing people will pay the extra money right kim right right you you can't i mean everything is going up and it, everything's going up for us so how how do we offset that you know and like you said our time our time is worth worth a lot and That's we put right. a, we put a lot into our business and it's not, it's unfair for us to continue to, to, you know, stay at that same price or even go in and lower price. I hear people say a lot, oh, I went in and lowered my price and I'm still not selling anything. Well, <laughs> you know, it, it's all about perceived value as well, you know, so you, you have to go in and you have to reassess, you know, and, and also don't go in and do comps of stuff two years ago. Prices are completely different now. That's right. Know? Look at what they're pri what they're selling for now. Do comps what you know on things now. Now, don't, don't and, 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 and then the and then add two dollars. I mean, you know, it's it's, it's yeah. Ridiculous. You shouldn't be looking at the past. Supply chain is mm -hmm. broken. What are you doing? This is not the economy of mm -hmm. you know uh, five, six, seven years ago. This is not that economy. You need mm -hmm. to be pricing up just a little because your time is money. I mean, and, we're, not, uh, we're not going into the grocery store right now and paying prices from two years ago. That's right. Exactly. You know? Yes, Mary, you can rewatch it later. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> but don't worry. We're going to be, we're going to be talking here for a while because this yeah. is such a topic. Okay. So we're not going anywhere. Uh, Lori says, this is great. But, uh, for Grail because they don't allow you to change prices once it's listed. Uh, hmm. I have even That's a better awesome. tool, Lori, than delisting and relisting. What if I tell you, okay? And uh, yeah, Grail loves us. You okay? <laughs> I'm right about I love, it, okay? I love Grail. I love Grail. They're amazing. Okay, okay. so um, Laurie, um, I have. I want to show you. So now, um, why don't we show our incredible audiences how to instead end listings and delisting and relisting? Why don't we show them the feature that we have of? Um, updating uh, prices, which is mm. something important because we were we were getting asked, okay, how to instead of 
delisting and relisting, which is what you have to do with these other basic tools, okay? Um, because that's the only way, or they market, they don't even have Mark sold. Uh, some of them have Mark sold, others don't have delist. So mm -hmm. there is, the problem is that when you're delisting and relisting and doing that marathon, okay, um, not only you are destroying search engine optimization that marketplaces are doing for you, but also, okay, you are getting new listing ID numbers and there is a better way to do this. So we're gonna show you right now the app feature from List Perfectly and this goes hand in hand with what Doug was telling us about listing optimization with his friend Dave Snyder that the episode is in the Seller Community Podcast and this is why we built after very careful consideration this is why we built this feature. Update feature. Instead of delisting and relisting entire new listings on supported platforms, you can simply apply updates to listings. Once the editing has, has been completed in List Perfectly, you, you can apply these updates. updates. Just go, go ahead and select the listings, listings you want to apply an update to. to. In this example, we're going to choose 10 different listings. And then here we're going to update. So we're going to update all the platforms are selected to choose update. And then here we can see where we can update all listings. Money maker! Or targeted areas. Updates we want to apply. We're going to choose price. Price, my favorite. Update. <laughs> that was perfectly yeah. going to apply the updated details to the listings that are already published, where you'll be able to just simply review and then apply the update on the marketplace. There you go. We'll have a Poshmark here. Once we finish Same email, listing so ID. Same listing ID. Has been updated correctly. And then choose update. Now you've updated your details and the prices right directly on the marketplaces without ever having to delist or relist anything in bulk. All right. <laughs> Love that feature so much. That that feature, well, all the features are my best yeah. friends, but oh my goodness, the update feature. <laughs> Tell me, tell me about it. What's what? What did it do for you, Kim? Oh my goodness! It saves so much time for uh -huh. one, you know, and it it's it's so easy. It's so easy, and you know, before it's like okay, if you like you said, you know, you want to go in and you want to increase your prices. It if you didn't have that feature, it would take probably seven or eight times longer at least. That's but with right. This you go in and you can go in and do it in the Express Editor. Change your prices in your Express Editor page, boom, 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 and then update, you know, do, choose all the ones that you want to update, hit that update button, and you're done. You, you're done. It, you just, it's just, see, I get all excited because I just love it. It's yeah. amazing. That feature is just amazing. It's a lifesaver. No, absolutely. This is what we're talking about listing perfectly. And did you know when you update titles or prices or anything you're updating, the word alert is running. So we might be able to give you a word alert. So imagine about listing perfectly. Now, let's let's suppose, okay, that now you're using these automated free tools, right? And I have a listing that has a misspelling on the title, all right? Uh, the item, uh, maybe I made mistakes on the colors. I made mistakes on the size, all right? What will happen if you keep delisting and relisting with an automated tool that doesn't allow you to verify your listing before publishing. This is why marketplaces are gonna end this automation nonsense that is not applicable for small business owners on our segment like ourselves. Other mm -hmm. e-commerce segment, you got it. Yes, no worries, I'm building, okay, solutions for that too, okay? But I know my, my community very well. And I know mm -hmm. that like Doug says, Doug, I love when you say, what is that you say going around or trying to go around the terms of service? Yeah. And, uh, well, first of all, list perfectly is helping you optimize your listing before you list. No platform does that. Like we do with the word alerts, the nerd alerts as Flip and Hippos calls them. <laughs> and just those, those words to look out for. Cause again, you don't want to get in trouble and you know, that compliance is so important. You don't want to, you don't want to lose your account. Um, 
And the thing that I talk about is, and maybe this is what you're asking, Claire, is like, I love to talk about the algorithms. So all the platforms have algorithms that are data-based and every, like I was on the eBay community yesterday and people were arguing back and it's like, it's that it's takes what's put in and it gives you, it recycles, it takes the data, analyzes the data and puts data back out. So right. algorithms on all the platforms, they take what's put into them. So if good data is put in, you get good data out. If bad data is put in, which is a lot of times workarounds or people trying to cheat the system or people using bots or people trying to, uh, you know, do different things to beat the system. It may work for a bit, but first of all, you're going to get in trouble. It's going to mess with the algorithm yep. and it doesn't help buyers, sellers, or the marketplaces. And the example I used the other day was uh, item specifics. There was a we there was a complaint I saw once where yeah. it was a poop color for pillows. <laughs> I remember this was a oh, yeah. And that's that <laughs> and you were brown? <laughs> yes, maybe brown. What kind of brown is healthy or not? Or I love when you tell me hopefully brown, you tell me <laughs> <laughs> I guess yes. Anyway, oh but, uh, that's its own emoji. Oh, but uh, yeah, yeah, especially, yeah. especially early on, the item specifics when they rolled out, you know, they yeah. were taking data and not all the data they had was good. So the rollout was a little rough, especially in the clothing yeah. category. But now, you know, what are we two years in now? More into, you know, item specifics is you really got to think about those item specifics. And they are there to help you show up on eBay in that uh, left-hand nav bar. And, you know, that factors into some other optimization stuff, like category is so important. You want to initially list in the right category. Yes. So the example, example Dave used is he talked about Darth Vader earrings. So if you think about Darth <laughs> Vader, obviously you'd think about Kimnos. You'd think about the movie or you'd think about probably a toy or an action figure. But if you've got Darth Vader earrings, somebody that's going to buy them is going to likely search for earrings. It's more you want to put them in that category. If they're searching for a Darth Vader toy, they're not going to be interested in earrings. That's and this right. goes back to my experiences. I, I like black t-shirts and I know that everybody, please. I know this is a surprise. I wear an XL. I know, I know, I know it's shocking, shocking news. But I was searching for a particular type of black T-shirts. And this was a couple of years ago. This was actually before item specifics. And I was looking for XL. I don't remember the brand. I think uh -huh. I, 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 I like Cal the Calvin Klein black T-shirts. Uh -huh. I was searching yeah. for XL Calvin Klein T-shirts. And a bunch of other stuff came up. If yeah. I'm searching for an extra large black T-shirt, I don't want to see different sizes. I don't want to see different colors. I want to see what I'm looking for. And that's, that's what right. those item specifics on eBay help you do. I love it. And speaking about item specifics, what if, Kim and Doug, what if we show the incredible feature? The I call it the money maker. Okay, so <laughs> Doug is talking about item specifics. Don't enter those item specifics manually, please. True. And don't start your <laughs> listings on eBay. It's the longest, most complicated listing form and they're not shy about it okay but they're doing <laughs> different things so do it from lp and now i'm going to show you how to merge your least perfect let's say you delist it right remember how i told you in the beginning of this session there is different ways to delist and release with lp you can delist mm -hmm. and release like you know everybody wants to do it right or in we're showing you 10 listings just because there is people doing 50 70 at once okay <laughs> but okay i, I want to show you you know how to delist okay you're gonna have your listing in lp you delist it okay and then you're gonna merge that listing whether it's poshmark mercari etsy ebay any platform that has a sale similar we can do it, okay? So I'm gonna show you, I'm a big fan. This is how I made my money. This is my money maker. <laughs> my I have maker. no glitter. I need glitter. <laughs> Let's see the money maker. In this video here, we're gonna show you how to cross post from your list perfectly catalog 
into eBay using the sell similar feature on eBay. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to navigate to our list perfectly extension settings. We can get there by clicking the list perfectly icon here, and then we'll click settings. Now, what we want to do is we want to enable this setting here, this copy to open marketplace tab setting. Once we've enabled that, we can go ahead and close this, and now we can move on. So what we want to do is we want to find this exact pair of shoes, and a good way to do that is by copying the item ID there, and we'll go ahead and search eBay for that. This. Next, what we want to do is we want to sell similar from a listing that has already sold and has good item specifics in it. So we'll go ahead and use this one, for instance. So as we can see here, everything is already filled out, which takes away from having... And we're talking about, next week, we're going to be talking about optimization. And one point that I want to bring out, and I paused this, is that so may, sometimes too many item specifics might hurt you instead of help you. That's why you have to join us tomorrow. This is just to show you, okay, the amount of item specifics that you can merge with the least perfectly listing. That's what we're showing you this. But at the same time, you know, I want you to share about listing optimization, which we're going to be talking about next week. From you as the user having to do it on, on your end. So what we can do now is you can click on the listing and we can click this sell now button here. And what this will do is it will create the listing for you and add all of the item specifics into the listing form. But what you don't get is your images and your description. So now comes in where we need to cross post from our list perfectly catalog into eBay. So we'll navigate back to list perfectly and we'll go to our listings here. Now we will find the pair of shoes that we are trying to cross post, click the cross post icon, and now we will click copy. And there comes my favorite part. <laughs> so now with the copy to open marketplace, Magic. setting enabled. <laughs> All of our images. Only least perfectly. We also get to keep all of the item specific. Look at that. Look that at that beauty. We're on the listing that we sold similar to. So now we can go ahead and review, make sure that everything looks good. There is your Once original LP that, listing. We can go ahead and publish our listing. <laughs> There is your optimized listing. Oh, why? Why aren't you doing this? The money maker, please. Yeah. And just and like that, we have now cross posted from our list perfectly catalog into eBay using the sell similar feature with the copy to open marketplace tab setting enabled. Once you are done doing this, you Crucial. will want to navigate back to your list perfectly extension settings and, check. and disable copy to open marketplace tab. Don't forget. Once you've done that. Simply close out and move on to your next listing. That's right. And you can do this with with more than just eBay as well. So that's that's also something to keep in mind. That's but, right. But with all the item specifics, that's probably the best one to do it with because you don't have to fill any of that out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Sarah says, I've been doing this. I watched a previous video and this makes listing so much easier. And in addition, makes it perfectly. Okay. Just cherry pick. Go shop around. It's allowed. That's yeah. why market marketplaces want you to sell more, but they don't want you to do the madness of delisting and relisting without optimization or human reviewing, because that's yeah. a definition of insanity. You are not a drop shipper. You are not a corporate, you're not, I don't know, Adidas, uh, you know, or Rain Spooner or whatever, or, or NFL Broncos, or, I don't know. <laughs> you know, they need those features, not us, guys, okay? Not us, not yet. Yeah. It'll get there. We'll build, we'll build it the right way, okay? <laughs> but it'll take a little more time, okay? <laughs> That's important. Um, all right. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, thank you. Yay. 
Clara Miser Call es stand up. She, oh, she, she, can enter, she can entertain us on the lives, though, so that's okay. That's right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I love oh it. Gosh. I love it. It's Crazy. Good to see. How do you get that listing back in, L, back in LP? It was always in LP. What you did is merge your LP listing with Cell Similar, whether it's eBay, Etsy, Posh, Mercari. It was always in. In, in, in LP. And you might wondering, uh, Clara, I want you to import, okay, the, uh, oh, I have a good one for you. I, I'm glad that you asked that, Vanessa. I'm going to demo something. Okay, thank you for asking that, all right, because where is my, it's perfectly, I don't want to lose this because I want to show image quality just in case someone asks me about image quality. So speaking about how do I get that back into list perfectly, Clara? All right. So I'm going to show you right now. There is the reason we don't get that stuff back. And I, I'm, I haven't built anything how to get it back is because the item specifics are only relevant to eBay. All right. So, you know, they we will cross post the uh, let's say the details that are relevant with other marketplaces. So here is a suggestion that I did, you know, a suggestion for Edwin Flores to copy uh, eBay item specifics into the description box. And I want to show you. Can you zoom? Can you see my description, Kim? My yes. my thing. Okay. Yes, sure so can. I just put, you know, look, I put it. <laughs> the photo. So good though. <laughs> that was such a nice thing for you to do though for Edwin though. I know. So guys, you see, I want to show you what I did. Okay. I just cut and paste all the uh, all the uh, item descriptions of eBay, and then what you can do, all right, is you can. I don't know. I'm going to say you can even, you know, edit this. Okay. You can even remove that. I don't know what plans you're using because if you're using the pro plan, this is unnecessary. Uh, the pro plan will do it for you, but then you can save this. Let's say we, we finish. Okay. We remove China. All right. So you see how I'm doing, you know, already um, leaving, you know, the stuff that could be necessary for listing. Then I save this. I can save it as a draft. In this case, I'm going to update it, but then yeah. we can template yeah. this. Oh Clara, yes, we're, we're, I'm sorry. We're seeing uh, the 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 my listings page. We're oh, not no seeing worries. Your... Okay, so let me stop sharing. Whoops, <laughs> and I'll go back. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt you, but we, we no, you have to. You... <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, let's see where I go, and then let's edit listing here, and then I'm back. Thank you, Kim. Oh, well. All right, so here we are. We go back to. We, there we go. Do you see my listing with the uh, podcast image? Yes, now we see it. Yes. All right. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So here you see, guys. Okay. So, um, you know, I was editing a little, for example, sneaker season, uh, you know, theme. You could remove these. You could remove pattern. You know, you can remove that is solid type athletic you might leave it because you you might build it into a template for tennis shoes this is what edwin flores does okay uh mm -hmm. you can maybe remove the 2021 and then you save okay these all right and in, in this case would be updated and in this case you can even later template it and that's how you want to manage that import okay to um list perfectly if you want to you know this is the reason i would do the listing and relisting um in just you can do it with any plan okay but uh, this would be ideal for business and simple plans because the pro plan does will do more for you at this level uh but at the same time you can never um you can as long as it's relevant for the product and you're not putting for example i recommend not to put the motto of something okay on the title put it on the product description box okay uh the condition you know if it is pre-owned new pre-loved whatever it is put it on the body of the of the of the, uh, the listing instead of the title so there is many ways okay that you can do about the uh, going about optimization i love it oh lori it is there it is lori oh you copy and paste it yes i copied and pasted all those product description uh you know after we we listed our listing okay and after you push it and make sure you know that ebay likes the listing of course you know you always that's why it lists perfectly doesn't push it automatically because the second you push it as a human 
eBay will let you know if they like it, the listing or not. And uh, with automated services, unfortunately, it will suspend you first and then talk to you later, okay? <laughs> because you sent a bunch of listings and that's just, you know, you, you broke a bunch, bunch of terms of services. So what you do is once you know that the listing is perfect, okay, you copy and paste those uh, product description, uh, item descriptions, okay? And then you just take it to the product description box. That's right. <laughs> uh, she says, I'm lazy. I just wanted to take pictures and let someone else do all the other info. <laughs> That's right. Don't do it. Don't do it yourself. And there is these big companies, okay, that they have people doing that, okay? So don't feel bad. Go and shop around. That's mm -hmm. the way it works, okay? Um, another mm -hmm. thing I wanted to say about the delisting and relisting every two weeks, okay? Did you know that if you're doing these uh, on marketplaces like Etsy or uh, eBay, you're destroying the item specifics that you enter? Mm. There. Mm. <laughs> you're destroying it because then, at the time, you never know, eBay sometimes is updating uh, item specific. So you could have put, you know, like 100% uh, cotton and now the item specific is cotton. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the nerd on that. <laughs> and the same concept applies to Etsy and the other marketplaces, all right? Mm -hmm. So that's important, okay, that you keep in mind when we talk about um, delisting and relisting. Another thing that you will find that you're cross-posting from marketplace to marketplace and then delisting and relisting manually and doing that stuff is that you will never have a good image quality. So, yes, your image qualities. And even these automated services are having trouble with image quality. I told you so. I told you so. Okay. So they're having issues with She's image quality ready. and you can't afford, you cannot afford, okay, to lose that beautiful Zoom feature that you have on Etsy, eBay, Shopify. Uh, then, um, you know, if you're using on Poshmark or Mercari, make sure, you know, you're coming from LP or from marketplaces like eBay or Etsy. So you don't have tiny images all compressed. All right. Yeah. Um, Yes, we talk about, you know, right now on eBay, if you cross post from Poshmark or Mercari, and uh, you have, obviously it's going to be images that are smaller than 800 times 800 pixels. Now your mm -hmm. listing will go to Siberia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I kid you not. No, but, she's not yeah. kidding, guys. True. <laughs> she's not kidding. Yeah, and, they'll send it to Siberia. And, and, it, yeah, and when it, you, Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just to say, and, you know, as shoppers, as, as buyers, as, you know, we exactly. go on and we're looking for, for items. We want that Zoom feature. I, I know I do. I do it every time. If I'm looking at something, man, I want to see that. I want to see that item. And I know I know anybody else that I've ever talked to wants that as well. And if you lose that, you're you're losing sales right there. You know, and you're sitting there going, I'm not selling anything. Well, you know. And that image is all the platforms. It's a lot of times the first impression a buyer is going to get of your listing. And uh if it's not a good first impression, you're, they've got plenty of other choices and uh, they'll just go to the next listing. And then too, you know, eBay wants, eBay wants buyers to see quality listings. So it's is like, that, it's not day. only eBay, hold on, yeah. not only eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Grail, Mercari, Poshmark, mm. Etsy, Grail, oh my God, Shopify, <laughs> even Instagram, all of them. Sorry, Doug. No, oh, no. And it, it just comes um, bottom line for me is, is like, I wouldn't yeah. trust an automatic, a bot type of thing for a bunch of listings. It's like, there's too much stuff that can go wrong. I'd ha I want to check it myself anyway, but yeah. it's just, it's your business. You're potentially losing money. You just have to, there's a lot to think about, but I wouldn't uh, automatically do anything. Exactly. And, uh, delisting and relisting automatically how are you going to update those prices so you've been doing this now by months for months right and you mm -hmm. haven't even checked okay what is out there like kim said don't be checking the past mm -hmm. okay the past is the past that was back in the day don't be listening to those services they're not resellers those services that they're giving you a pricing tool don't do it 
unless it's vintage and you're using WorthPoint. And that's why we're partners with WorthPoint because it will give you a 10 year or even I think a little more, okay, of the sales information, the pricing trends of antiques and collectibles. If you're selling anything else and you're looking at the price to start in prices and you're just delisting and releasing just to make more money, you're losing money. You're losing money. You're losing customers. You're losing reputation uh you're not carrying your the message of your business your branding your mission we want to know mm -hmm. if, if kimberly's vintage java koala i want to know what she's up to okay what <laughs> what got you into selling what are you reselling what do you like to sell do you like return policies do, do, do your products come from a pet free smoke free i don't know we want to know that stuff use the delist and release process to optimized listings, uh, but not just by having the two weeks of glory of visibility mm -hmm. because it's a new listing on any of the platforms uh, that we uh, support. Yeah. And let me just hop in real quick, something yeah. you said, Clara. So yeah. I want to ask our watchers, what other e-commerce CEO do you see on such a regular basis that's so accessible? And you're not only getting direct access to the CEO, you get direct influence into what List Perfectly does. So in these type of things, you know that we take a lot of suggestions from these and Clara calls Amanda right away. And then <laughs> you can suggest a feature. So many of those get put into place, but it's very important that a marketplace or a company be connected with their community, with their customers. And so few are so transparent as Clara. It's like, yeah, what other e-commerce CEO is you know, multiple times a week going live. And then you we know. take your feedback, we put it into the product, we report back. Yep. Um, and I've said this before, but when I was at eBay, eBay likes to put the execs out there, but it's very gated and controlled. Yeah. You mm -hmm. answer the questions, they get put through, you know, some review, answers are written. Um, it's very rare that you will have direct access to a CEO in e-commerce face-to-face without some sort of um, <laughs> lawyer or corporate comms or something <laughs> like that. Kind of, you know, so true. It's so true. They have the hook yeah. so they can pull you. Yeah. <laughs> you don't say the right, that's what they're scared of. They don't want yeah. you to say the right thing. Seriously. Yeah. No, they, want you to say the wrong thing. they want you to say the right thing, but they don't want you to say the wrong thing. Exactly. That's true. You know, and, 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 you know, um, well, of course, I'm a lawyer, so I feel confident, you know, and, and my product is legit, so I have nothing to yeah. hide in my company, everything, no. you know. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just, I'm just excited. Like, first of all, I'm a reseller, and that's why I'm so comfortable. And, you know, I'm surrounded by resellers. So that's what's important to me. So I want to make sure. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, Aww. yes, indeed, indeed. Um, appreciate it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I wanted to. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. God. <laughs> he cracks me up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dr. Rosen. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. that's awesome beautiful audience do we have Ooh. any questions so i think we addressed okay listing uh a little of listing optimization we'll be talking a lot more we have kim here okay in case you want to see anything live okay um oh you know what we have is that i want to show one last thing that we should show i love it okay uh, let's show mark sold all right because uh many other services out there okay or they have mark sold or they have dealies but they don't have both okay mm -hmm. <laughs> so i want to show to our beautiful audience okay very different okay please don't use mark sold to delist and delist and i'll explain you why hold on a second what am i this one no okay window here okay can you see my screen, please? Yes. All right. On this video, we're going to watch Mark Soul feature and list perfectly. Very different from delisting and relisting, and very different from up 
updating titles, uh, the uh, product description, images. Um, uh, oh, someone asked if they're going to be adding SKU to the update button. Yes, it's coming soon, okay? Yes, soon you're going to be able to update SKU with the update button from the same menu. Um, and then I'm going to show this, okay? We're ready? We're going to show you how to mark your listings as sold in bulk from your list perfectly catalog. Now this can be done with the business and the pro plan. So now the very first thing that we do is we just go ahead and select the listings that we would like to mark sold. Now, what we expect to see happen here is we have selected five listings and they are all cross posted to three different marketplaces. So what we should see happen is, is we should see 15 tabs open up. One for each marketplace that we have chosen as well as for each listing that we have chosen. So now what will happen is, is all of those tabs will open up and then our listings will automatically be ended by the list perfectly extension. And we can see that that has successfully happened because we get that confirmation message on the right hand side indicating that the listing has ended. That's right. Now that we can confirm that all 15 listings have ended, we can go ahead, go back to the list perfectly catalog, close all tabs to the right, just to save some time. Go ahead and refresh, make sure that everything looks good. And just like that, we have now successfully marked five listings sold from our catalog. <laughs> All right. So fast. Yep. So there you have it. Okay. One thing is to mark sold. Another one is to uh, update listings. Another one is to um, delist and relist. And another one is when you delist and relist, maybe you want to merge it with sell similar. There is so many. And you know, how much does this cost extra with any plan, guys? Ooh, zero. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's going to cost you zero. And zero. Zero. What are you doing to yourself? Okay, $29, $49, and $69 for this is why you're paying this money. And this is why we provide outstanding customer service. And I have an incredible tech team that work cohesively. So when marketplaces make changes, I get the solution fast, okay? 24, 48 hours, done, okay? And sometimes the same even day if it is something simple because we are, we have already different versions of List Perfectly. So I love it. Oh, this was good. Oh, Cheryl says, yeah, yeah, says yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You're Teresa welcome. Cox, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all my bears are like, get this, get you. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, I That's love so cool. it. I love it. I love it. Hey, good luck, Gina America and Vanessa Porta with what not fast sales, huh? Yes. Fast sales. yes. Yeah. Very wow. interesting. Very interesting. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. I love it. I love to see the new sellers. You know, when they're they they just get to you know where they're doing the onboarding, and it's just so exciting for them. You know. Yeah. I'm, I haven't I haven't taken that leap yet, but I'm 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 seeing my my community members doing it and i'm like oh man they're tempting me so. yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. so have we come to the end of our session and we need wait. now well, the information wait, Claire, Claire, Claire. i'm sorry to interrupt i've been handed an urgent announcement <laughs> i have today's winners ladies and gentlemen all right we have today's three, winners nine, three, nine selected freebies, freebies, freebies. our scientific <laughs> process i will paste them congratulations to click and toad cheryl hinton and just time thank you everyone yes oh. thank you everyone please let me finish please <laughs> it's very exciting i understand so what wow. you, we would love for you to do is email our fabulous marketing manager, Tiffany at listperfectly.com, and she will help you fulfill that three month of list perfectly. So keep in mind, you can use this as an opportunity to upgrade to, I love the pro plan. I'd recommend that or take a free month. Uh, it's up to you. And if you're new, that's the way to start. So that's congratulations right. to our winners. That's right. Thank you. Way to go, guys. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Awesome. And this was an incredible session. Um, again, mm -hmm. congratulations, our 
incredible team, Least Perfectly, Kim. Welcome to Team Least Perfectly. Mm -hmm. This is your family. Yeah. This is your home. Um, Doug, <laughs> thank you for trusting Least Perfectly from day one. You always believed in us and yeah. uh, you were so patient. You started part time with the <laughs> podcast. Then, you know, we started testing a blog post and then you came full time. What a journey. Beautiful. I'm honored mm -hmm. to have this session with both of you. Thank oh, you. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Thank you. It goes both ways. And congratulations, Absolutely. Kim. Welcome to the team. Thank you, and, Doug. Um, I appreciate yeah, thanks that. Thanks, everybody. All yeah. right. Thank you so much. Thank you for yes, watching. Thank, thank you. you, Mary. Thank you, Vanessa, right, cool. Patricia Sanderson, yeah. Cheryl Hinton, Laurie, <laughs> Justina, and my, yeah, my amiga, my you. friend, adorable. <laughs> Uh, star price and flipping people go make that money come on let's do it let's make it happen let's make our dreams come true e commerce is big enough for all of us have a beautiful day all right and we'll see you Bye. next time don't forget to listen to the podcast and read the blog <laughs> yeah. all that. And, and call my mama okay that's that's right. Ooh, yeah if you could call my mom for me Hi, that mom. would be amazing pretend to be me <laughs> All right, Bye. thanks everybody. Bye.